morning world. Today's episode, I'm quite excited because I bought something new. It is another one of the auto art models. This time, uh, it's something that I've been eyeing for a very long time and when it finally showed up on a Japanese website, had to buy it. And it will shape up my die cast collection very well. Haha, <laughs> let's get into it. Let's go! Okay, so this is exciting. This is the 118 scale auto art uh, Honda RA272 F1 car. And this is the car, uh, this is the model rather, of the car that was racing in the Mexican GP in 1965. I will start to explain a little bit more as to why that's so exciting in a moment. Um, but let me just get into the box first and show you how and what's up with this. All right, let's 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 show you more of what's with that. Now, this is a full box, which is pretty damn amazing. I'm gonna put the box to the side. No, wait, let's put the box at the back, Hang on, like we always do. All right, so, let's get that there. There we go. Um, look at that, it comes with a certificate of authenticity as well. What? It even has the old Honda Red Racing logo, which is pretty cool. And um, you can put that there. And then there is also a little um, sort of like an instruction booklet. Not really an instruction booklet. It pretty much tells you the information here, which is actually pretty cool. Um, I don't know if it's clear enough, but you can pause and read that if you like. There's also pictures of the model itself. Look at that. Oh, wow. They, they even have all these screws that you are supposed to screw it in yourself which is pretty awesome. The front cowling can actually be removed as well. And um, oh, this is this is pretty awesome. Okay, very excited. And there's of course a little bit of a uh, uh, instructions that you can, of course, uh, it tells you what it comes with inside the box and instructions on how to, to set it together, which we will do now. So inside the box, if you can see here, you have the race car over here and there is of course additional accessories up and down here and they've also included on this side, check this out, this is the floor plate of the, of the car and there's even a little screwdriver here um, that, they, that they included into the box as well so that you can actually screw in the screws. Speaking of screws, they, they actually have labeled like different uh, um, the different screws that that comes with the car. There is ex additional screws as well inside this box, and um, I'm just gonna put them, lay them all out on the table as well. And uh, okay, let's see. This is the rear cowling. No, is the rear engine air intake kind of thing here as well, and uh, another another small piece here that we probably have to install. And the front cowling is over here. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, remove that, and um, yeah, let's get to removing the car out from the packaging because it's usually screwed down by screws at the bottom. So let's do that.
and we're done. Sort of. Well, I, I, I think if you watch the time lapse, I made the call to actually not um, screw in the front screws over here. They are a little bit too small, and uh, um, it, it's actually very difficult to get one of the screws in on one of the sides. But it's pretty cool that they actually included like this, which is red color screws as well for the rising sun thing in the center over here. And um, I, I also decided to leave the screws out for now because. Um, even when I have that displayed, I could also pull out the front cowling if I want to take a look at the, the front side of the car and I can remove this as well. So that's pretty cool. We are actually done with the model already. But just to give you more of a context why this um, particular race car is so special, this car is the Honda RA272 which was actually raced in um, um, 1965. That is the 60s man. That's crazy. It has a V12 engine um, that gave it 230 brake horsepower at 13,000 RPM. Can you imagine how this thing would have sounded? 13,000 RPM and you could rev it up to 14,000 RPM as well which was crazy and that's, that's a Honda for you. It's not the first um, Honda F1 car but it is the first Japanese Formula 1 car that won a F1 race this particular car here and it's driven by uh, Richie Ginter which you see his name plastered on the side this side and this side over here of course he bought the driver number 11 and there's a rising sun here um, over here as well and he won the Mexican Grand Prix again uh, which is actually pretty insane and of course they love that so much that this car was the car behind if you guessed it you guessed it right the championship white color scheme so this white uh, Honda decided to replicate and use it for their racing um, um, like you know moving forward after that after that race so I'm going to show you the underside of the car as well I put on the floorboard earlier it's difficult because there's two screws and you need to screw it in each of these cars are numbered so we have a serial number here as well and you have that along with the certificate of authenticity that I was showing you earlier check it out mm -mm, yummy and then uh, again, you can see also the intricate engine works and the interior of the car. If, um, look at that. If the camera would be so kind as to focus. Look at that. Can you see that? Wowee. That's over. Uh, um, so that's one place where you can do it. Not only that, you actually see the 12 cylinders of the V12 at the back as well and these two beautiful exhaust pipes that actually um, is sticking out. You can see the full workings of the suspensions here as well. Of course I'm not gonna test that and, and push that to make that work. That's a bit crazy but you can see all that and and of course the tires as well with the Goodyear um, um, tire bomb of, uh, over there. And uh, let me put this back in first. So this again, it was a very historic win for Japan and Honda naturally, which is actually a bit, which is very crazy to be honest. Uh, and that being said, that's where the championship white colorway or the, the championship white paint scheme came about and the red Honda badge. Um, it all started from this car, which is why I, I, I quite like uh, um, this car a lot and I'm very happy. So again, give you a closer look at the cowling, at the front cowling over here. Oh, cannot really see that. There we go. Over there. And at the front, you can see the coolers. First, we have the intercoolers right. Oh, let me move that back a bit so you can get a better view. Look at that. The intercooler over there. And look at the workings of the. It's probably the transmission tunnel all the way back to the. I don't think it's transmission tunnel. But it's quite interesting. Looking over here on the uh, right side of the car as well. Can you see this, this line here? Yeah. That is literally the gear shifter. The gear shifter is on the right. They pull a gear, it changes the gear at the back. So that's, that wasn't a transmission tunnel. Um, sorry, I was wrong, but this is just the workings of the cooling systems in front. But that is pretty cool. This is pretty insane. So uh, other cool facts about this car as well is that um, this also appeared in the uh, um, Formula One Championship Edition um, video game. So if you are actually playing one of those you can actually drive the car there we go I'm just gonna fit the cowling back on and it looks marvelous it looks so beautiful wow and very interestingly enough as well this particular car also serves as a design influence for the uh, dasher cut in the Mario Kart series that is insane though
this is insane this is so cool but yes and that is the construction of the Honda RA272 very happy with this purchase look at that so beautiful wow very happy to add this in my, into my collection of a 118 scale uh, uh, cars and being a Honda fanboy myself as well this is gonna be awesome let me show you let's fit in okay so this one's gonna be sitting here I do have a Renault F1 car here so this will be sitting with the F1 car uh, because it is an F1 car so it's going to be seated here right beside it oh look at that it looks mad awesome doesn't it Ooh, wee. And we've got the F1 range here if I ever were to get more F1 cars or depending lah right uh, and I do have my Honda Honda range over here as well uh, this is a new addition recently also this is a DC5R uh, from Automobile and yeah I seem to be missing some of the Honda cars which hopefully in due time I'll be able to get them but oh we have yet again added another beautiful addition um, to the collection so let me know tell me what you think did you like uh, the Honda RA272 do you like it um, and uh, do you enjoy this kind of videos where I show you more of like this kind of things that I do I really don't know let me know in the comment section below do not forget to hit the like button let me know what dope 118 cars that you have in your collection as well I love, I love to hear more and uh, yeah meanwhile do remember to subscribe for absolutely no reason at all and I will catch you in the next episode. Stay safe, stay awesome. Bye-bye.